EM might have to be the most hottest underground rapper out right now. You know what? I don't even think we should call him underground at this point, but, and I remember I made my first video on EM. You know, to be real, he only had like two or three songs that people like actually cared about, and one of them was Figure It Out. And when that trailer was posted by him, it just went ballistic. And there were so many things happening for him. He was getting some of the craziest cosigns at that time. And mind you, this was only like three or two months ago. A lot of things he was doing wasn't organic. You know what I'm saying? The whole time, you know, Ian was signed to Columbia Records. You know, I knew the whole time, but like some people didn't know that, you know, he had a team behind him pushing him. And I love Ian music. I think the latest project that he dropped was very good. But one thing I'm starting to notice is that people have a problem with the way he presents himself, the way him and his team promote themselves. And at this moment, I feel like he's probably the most hated underground rapper or just rapper in general. You feel me? Because lately, I feel like I've been seeing his name everywhere because I see the things that he do, the way he promote himself and stuff like that. People find it cringe. People find it corny. But one thing I have to say is that it works. Anytime things like this happen where people send out these huge tweets about how they feel about Ian, people just don't accept them. That's only pushing his name further. He knows what him and his team are doing. And I think the problem is, is that y'all are taking Ian way too serious. I think that's the character that Ian is going for. He's going for being that cringe white kid. You feel me? That raps. And you will have so many people out there that say, yo, I don't understand this. I hate this. And people really just don't like him because of his skin color or the fact that he taking a little bit of swag or inspired from a little bit of swag from another rapper. And if you want to get mad at Ian for stealing swag from black culture or black rappers, then you got to tell the other 10 million underground rappers that didn't did this before. You feel me? It's all just a cycle. So this is not something I didn't expect. I just didn't expect y'all to take this dude that serious. We all know he's from the suburbs. He went to Clemson and he has a great family. He's living good. He has money. But why him rapping is such a problem. And there's a few examples out there of people finding him cringe or corny. But one of the ones I want to go over today that y'all probably know about is the Lil Yachty situation. Because Lil Yachty was performing at Summer Smash this year in Chicago. And y'all should already know that Lil Yachty loved to show love to underground rappers or people that's just now coming up. And one of those people were in. And there's been tons of pictures and stuff like that of them in the studio and them cooking up and stuff. But eventually, you know, Lil Yachty had his thing at Summer Smash and he decided to bring Ian out. But Ian didn't just come out regular. You feel me? Pause. Y'all remember that dance or the way how Lil Yachty had walked out for his performance, right? Ian basically did the same thing and kind of just made like a meme out of it. And you know, it's been tons of AI videos of people doing it and stuff like that. But this was actually real and people found it so corny and cringe for some reason. You had people that don't even listen to Ian finding out about this and commenting about it. And you could just see how many people just really hate Ian. And this might not be true, but I feel like that's the goal for Ian and his team. He wants to get y'all mad because that's only keeping his name alive. That dude just dropped the album about a month or three weeks ago. And he's still being talked about to this day just because he decided to do a little dance or whatever he did while performing. And of course, I'm not saying that I don't find him cringe sometimes or whatever. It's a lot of people out there as cringe. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care that much just because he might get a little swag from another rapper or he might sound a little bit like somebody or he might do a couple cringe things when it comes to promotion. But what I seen the other day, I ain't gonna lie. I'm starting to see that y'all have some hatred. That's how the music industry is. Anytime a rapper really blowing up too, you're gonna have people just talk about you. But instead of me just talking, me and my friends, we actually had a conversation about this and we went into detail talking about how Ian is looked at as a meme rapper. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and transition. I think what ruined the thing with Ian was the way they marketed him at first. It just rubbed people the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? The whole, you're trying to use black people and these little tactics. Did it really rub them the wrong way though? Or is it the people that take that it seriously? Was corny. It was just corny. And then the music on top of that wasn't as good as what people were making it seem to be. So it was just like corny, you know? Netspen started out out the gate. It was weird and unorthodox. You know what I mean? And it gradually got better. So that's what I like to see as a viewer. I like to see something actually get better and actually turn into something and have its own form of like, you know, authenticity. Like, well, Netspen ain't remind me of nobody. He wasn't mean. Who did this? Right. Yeah. yeah. And then the 2024 came out. I was like, oh, all right. This kid has, and then his image, they're just doing the right thing with Netspen. And the music is just, you know, I'm not saying it's the craziest ever. When that is very obvious though, like the image is carrying him though so is ian done i haven't heard his name in a while somebody in my chat said uh yadi just brought out ian at summer smash so he has a lot on the way like he had the quavo stuff he got the but does anyone uh, care yeah. about quavo let's be honest yeah i'm not one ian posted up they seem to care about that yeah i'm getting tired of quavo bro <laughs> but he's just annoying just up. yadi is that right now yeah my chat just said yadi brought him out just now well not like now somebody said it like 20 minutes ago who's more of a meme rapper laser dim or ian laser yeah laser what? well so the thing is my girl listens to Ian, like his all over TikTok. 
it goes viral for him running through the crowd with his eyebrows out only and people know what he looks like he's more of like a content creator i feel like she yourself this though does she this, know so you gotta understand ian is the version of that that she could tolerate you know so like he, but she doesn't even he, listen to rap sabrina carpenter and i feel like the whole definition of a meme is like viral outside of it's like relatable in multiple different demographics i say ian's more of a meme rapper because you don't see laser strategically doing things with promo but you see ian doing stuff like wine like milk in a wine glass you know what i'm saying to promote what's about to drop next you know what i mean that's just smart marketing though that's just smart marketing. i, mean, I know what you're saying though yeah, like yeah, that's Though, like, meme. It's, it's tough to point out like you're using little things and i'm not saying it's bad you know then yeah. you don't really see laser doing shit like that like laser kind of just being himself if he's a meme a okay so i kind of proved your point earlier i think what i said but i think that it's more of whose music is taken more seriously than their persona and i feel like ian's music a lot of people don't even know about his antics whereas laser it's like you either know laser or you're not listening to him at all you know what i mean it's like yeah, cardi versus is Uzi or something. Kinda, kinda, but like Laser's lyrics are more memorable than you think. A lot more than his personality too, but he also has a personality. Like The things that he's saying is actually like, did he really just say that? Did he really just find a way to rhyme with that? As much as people would want it to be a meme, it's actually true. Like, What was the question? Who's the bigger meme rapper? As in, who is a bigger what? meme? Yes. And what I'm I'd say that, Ian what? probably for like the Marshawn yeah, Lynch yeah. bar, but like, so yeah, you're right in that. But at the same time, who is a bigger meme than their actual career? That's laser. Yeah. Nice. But Ian is yeah, a bigger nice. meme rapper. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. yeah. Because he's bigger. Yo, Laser Dam is a big rapper, though, man. Uh, he, he is. He is. He, is. Monthly. he on every streamer stream. All the YouTubers want to live with him for 48 but hours. But see, that's but not music. Fine. But see, that's, yeah, that's why he's a meme rapper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's not because it's music. You okay. were defending him the whole time because he was saying it was from his music. We were saying it was because his personality. Yeah. Ian, yeah, he does the little slick marketing, but it's always connected to a song. You right. can't lie, though. Like when Laser them drops like that goes the distance like people are posting it like you know so like yeah like, like his personality is out there just as much as <laughs> when you say people are posting it, like are you saying like the main blogs are like underground pages and he might not be going on press runs you know what i'm saying but when laser drops i'm seeing that shit. like the fans do with them if anything you know when ian drops though it goes way more viral than laser yes you know what I'm saying? yes they're both signed but i ain't gonna lie laser is more organic than ian i feel like sure. he's the underground young boy ian dropped as much as laser i don't know if it would man i'm sick and tired of talking about me and god 